Hi everyone! I'm so excited because today we're going to learn about and draw my top favorite artist of all time, Frida Kahlo. You might recognize Frida because there's a picture of her above the record player in my room and our happy and sad board has a happy and sad picture of Frida on it. Just in case you haven't heard of her, Frida Kahlo was a Mexican artist who was born about a hundred years ago. She was a really unique and special person who was very ahead of her time. This was a time when women usually didn't become painters or do what they wanted, but Frida was never afraid to be who she was. She never cared what other people thought. That's why I like her so much. Frida also loved animals and I do too. And she lived in a really cool blue house called the Casa Azul in Mexico City. Frida painted pictures of people. Pictures of people are called portraits. The person she liked to paint the most was herself. Portraits can show who a person is or how a person feels or the story of that person all in one picture. Frida's portraits were special because she always put in a dreamlike detail in each one. Frida's portraits are called surreal portraits because they're dreamlike and honestly kind of weird sometimes. Let's make a portrait of Frida Kahlo. First, turn your paper vertically up and down. Now fold the paper from top to bottom and side to side like this. This will make a cross or a T in the middle of the paper that you're going to use for this drawing. Put your finger right in the spot where the folds cross. Then mark a dot on each side of your finger. This is where each eye will end. From each dot, draw an arch that goes above the line and a dip that goes below the line to make each eye. Under the eyes, draw a nose. You can draw any kind of nose you like, but I kept mine simple with a little U shape. Under the nose goes the mouth. Draw a line that is long enough to hit the middle of each eye, and then draw an M on top and a U underneath to draw Frida's lips. Under the mouth, draw a dot on the line. Draw a dot on each side of the lines on that fold and then connect the three dots with two big curved lines. This makes her cheeks and chin. Add a neck with two vertical lines on each side and then draw two shoulders that go out and down to the bottom of the paper. Draw the top of her shirt and maybe a necklace. We know Frida had a really cool sense of style and wore all kinds of jewelry. Now, above the eyes on the middle line, draw another dot. Connect the lines on each side of her head to that dot with a swooped line. She kind of looks like a cone head right now, but stick with me. Add two curved lines on each side of her cone head to make the actual sides of her head. Draw two ears with more curved lines on either side of her head, right where her hair stops, and draw some earrings if you'd like. Let's make her eyes less creepy now by adding a line inside for an eyelid some lashes, a pupil, and an iris. We can't forget Frida's signature unibrow. She never failed to put it in her painting, so we're gonna draw a stretched out M across her forehead twice and color the space between the M's to make her amazing unibrow. Frida loved to wear amazing hairstyles with flowers and ribbons all woven in. So fill in the top of the paper with piles of beautiful flowers and leaves to finish off Frida's head. Make sure that you use a lot of variety when you're drawing the flowers. Try to think of lots of different flower shapes that you can use instead of all the same flower just repeated over and over. Variety makes things interesting in a picture. Not only do you want a lot of different flowers, but you need a lot of flowers so that the top of Frida's head looks finished and it's not a open, weird looking head. Now it's time to color in Miss Frida Kahlo. 
You can use markers, crayons, colored pencils, or paint. Remember, Frida's portraits always had something dreamlike or strange in all of them. So make sure to add something a little bit weird. I used crazy colors for my dreamlike, surreal detail. Don't forget to do something special with the negative space or the background of your picture. And please show me how your Frida's turned out on Flipgrid. See you there. Bye-bye.